Hey, I am Bob the train. I drive on the tracks. Passengers can sit inside me and travel to far away places. I also carry goods from one place to another. Let's go and meet the other modes of transport. Look, there is a car. Hey, Bob. I'm going out for a picnic. We'll see you soon, Bob. Look, kids. That's a police car. What do you do, Mr. Police Car? Policemen sit inside me to catch thieves. That's a brave job fighting against injustice. <laughs> Where are you going, fire truck? In so much haste. There are people trapped in a fire. I'm going to save them with the help of firefighters. Look, there comes an ambulance. I'm going to carry the sick and injured people to the hospital. What are you doing, garbage truck? I'm collecting garbage. Look there! It's Crane and Bulldozer. Hey guys, what are you all doing? Hey Bob, I'm helping Crane by moving the obstacle. Hi Bob, I'm helping with loading and unloading. Good work, you guys. Look at the helicopter fly away. Bye, Bob. Hey, tow truck, what do you do? I tow away the wrecked and disabled cars. I hope you kids had fun learning the different modes of transport. Hey kids, good morning to you. Hope you're all doing wonderful. Last week you mentioned the holidays were getting pretty boring. Do you want to go on a treasure hunt involving the alphabet? An alphabet adventure? Yay! It isn't over yet. All the 26 letters of the alphabet have gone into hiding. They've left clues so you know where to look for them. So let's get on with it. You'll find me among sandcastles with a stick for a flag, looking for seashells to put in my bag. Bring a ball if you must. Well, count on Bob to make the holidays more exciting. What was Bob saying about sandcastles and shells? That's our first clue. The beach! Absolutely. So let's head there, shall we? As soon as they reached the beach, they expected to see Bob, but were shocked to see someone else. Hey! We thought all of the letters were in hiding. What are you doing here? Don't tell us the adventure has been called off because we were looking forward to it. <laughs> no, no. The treasure hunt is still on, but Bob needed my help with charting out the treasure map and all its clues. So let's go meet Bob. Hey, kids! Bob, we missed you! <laughs> I've missed you kids too! And great job finding me at the beach! There you go! According to the map from the beach, we have to get to Chocolate Lane, then to the Phonics Playground, and finally to ABC Land, where Z will be waiting for us on top of the Treasure Mountain. We have to find all the other letters on the way. Well, let's get on with it then! In order to find B, you need to name at least three objects beginning with the letter B. Polly, would you like to go first? A boat, and I'd love to steer it. Jack, what would you like to name? A beach ball. Can I go next, Bob? A balloon. Well, you got that right. Hey, kids. Great job naming the objects. And let's go find the others. Yay! They all cheered and climbed onto the boat and sailed through the Chocolate River. Soon enough, they were on the shores of Chocolate Lane. It's so beautiful. <laughs> okay, kids, ready for your next clue. Behind something pink and round, the letter C shall be found. D, 
you think C is hiding behind that bush of lollipops? They're round! But they aren't pink. It has to be round and pink. I'll give you a special treat if you can find it. C, are you here? Hey, kids! Look, Johnny's here! And there's something on his arm! It's, it's C. C! Good job, Johnny! Now we have A, B, and C. Let's find D. Chocolate trees, big and small. Which is the tallest of them all? Find the letter D hiding behind the tallest spiral chocolate tree. Mary, take a guess. Um, that one. Yay! Yay! You kids are doing absolutely wondersome. We've kept a few chocolate sticks of different shapes and sizes. Using those sticks, you kids have to create the letters E and F. Remember, unless they're perfectly set, you won't find them. You will work in teams for this. Wondersome! Now let's take a look at F. Uh-oh, boys. The F looks out of proportion. Do you think you can remember what it looks like and try again? Thank you, kids. I got real tired of hiding. Kids, G, H, and I are hiding in the burrows of the Chocolate Mountain. They're very tricky to get a hold of. Do you think you can grab them all? Of course. I can't wait to get my hands on those little letters. So that's how you want to play? Very well then. Come on, friends. Dig in. Oh, kids. I loved watching you try. But you'll never catch the letters this way. I have an idea. Yay! 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 One, two, three. Great job, kids! Up ahead, there's an ice cream truck where you'll find J and K. But how are you going to find your way? Suddenly, all the kids looked sullen. How would they possibly get that high in the sky to find the letters J and K? Hey, guys! In Chocolate Lane, the shops are made of candy cane. In a land where hot dogs are so handy, the clouds are made of cotton candy. What do you say? We surf our way up to the ice cream truck in the sky? That's brilliant, Polly! Oh, hi. Hi. hi! Guys! Hi, Jay! Hi, Jay! Hi, Jay. Okay, kids. It's time to find the rest of the letters. Let's start with L. Each of you need to name something that begins with the letter L. A lamp. Lemon. Lipstick. Mm, ladder. <laughs> <laughs> A leaf. Hey, guys. Great job, all of you. Pick out the objects that start with the letter M. If you pick them all right, Mr. M will join us. Are you ready? Let's start with little Jill first this time. Mmm, milk. Mop. Hmm, I want to pick the moon. Matt. Well, I picked the mailbox. Hooray! Kids, if you haven't realized, you've already found half of the alphabet. Here's a little story with a few words missing. There are images to match the missing words. If you guess them correctly, you'll find the letters N, O, P, and Q. Yay! I love story time! After spending a few quick minutes on it and filling in the blanks, they handed the book over to Bob. They're absolutely right, kids! Yay! You kids are absolute geniuses! So let's see if you can find the next three letters just as quickly. They are behind shapes. You can see them everywhere. 
You just need to look closely and find shapes that begin with the letters R, S, and T. R is for rectangle. S is for square. T is for triangle. Well, kids, are you ready for the last leg of this hunt? Let's go! They all followed Bob and reached the Alphabet's Adventureland. Well, kids, here we are. The land where all the adventures started. It feels good to be back here. I've made this simple for you. There's just one task and you'll find all the letters together. What is it, Bob? It's a memory game. Cards with objects drawn on them are placed upside down. You kids need to match the cards, and when you do, you would have found the letters corresponding to the image. Ooh! <laughs> Bob put ten cards placed upside down, shuffled them a bit, and asked the kids to take turns in picking them out. Oh! Yay! Good job, Jack! Oh my god, we found them all! <laughs> Great job, everyone! Now, are you ready to finally meet Z? Yes! He's waiting for you at the top of Treasure Mountain! <laughs> Easy, Z! I'm so happy to see you all here! Bob, like you said, your little friends are really very smart. Thank you, Z! And I'd like to thank you all for putting together this hunt for us. I'm really happy to know you kids had so much fun. We love you, Bob! I love you too! <laughs> Z, 